Hello everybody and welcome to this tutorial in which I'm going to show you how we can build this water bottle design in Shaper 3D quite easily. We will start this exercise by first creating the necessary sketch, detail it, then build the individual mass blocks that define the design, add more geometry to create then the detailed version for these two bottle bodies. And then the end, we will switch gear, go to the cap. For the cap, I will show some very interesting tricks about how we can use Shaper to physically prototype our design while 3D modeling at the same moment. We will use a lot the section cut and the sketches and work in this view. And at the end, we will bring everything into the visualization tool, set up materials and our environment. So we can then create some really nice and beautiful looking product presentations. And before that's set, let's do it. So let's get started. Here is a new empty scene. First, we want to make sure the unit system is set to millimeters and all our snap elements are turned on. Let's go to the front view, move down a little bit. First thing we will do is create the basic proportional sketch, developing the cap and the bottle volume. So in front view, select sketch, and then I will start with a line at the bottom. This point I will lock this line will be horizontal and this line will be 30 millimeters long. I zoom out a little bit. Then I will start the center part. That's kind of like the axis of the bottle. This line again will be vertically constrained and has to have a length of 200 millimeters. Very good. I can continue and draw a line up and draw a line over and draw a line down and draw a line back. These four lines all will be horizontally constrained. The vertical line will be 35 millimeters and the top line will be 30 millimeters. So it matches actually the length of the line at the bottom. So the cap is kind of like defined, but the bottle is still open. So I will draw a vertical line. This line has to be horizontally vertically constrained. And then I will select these two lines and adjust the distance to 35 millimeters. I have now on the top and the bottom two openings and those I would like to close. Let's do this for the bottom one first. I will go to the spline and make sure I have the control type turned on. With that one, I can start drawing a spline, press for control point and then stop drawing at this endpoint. The spline to this line I would like to be tangently constrained. Also, the vertical distance of this opening should be 20 millimeters. And I can select two points and specify them to be 10 millimeters vertically apart. And this way, I make sure that the middle point is well, perfectly centered vertically. Then let's go to the top. Here, what I will do is I will start drawing a line down, press, go over, press, go down and release. The vertical distance here will be 40 millimeters. And on these two points, I would like to be perfectly centered. And I can do the same by specifying the distance of being 20 millimeters for the first and 20 miller 
meters here for the second set of points. Also here, the um, spline to the lower line, tangent, and the spline to the upper line, tangent. This way we have really beautiful flows. I exit the sketch, go into 3D view, then I will select this sketch region, select the center line, which is kind of like a vertical axis, and do a revolve body. Now I can actually study how this will look. This feels very good. Perfect. This lower edge, I will give a rounding of five millimeters. Simply select it and then add the value. Very nice. Good. So this is actually a really nice look. The two bodies I will select and delete because so far I have not verified the proportion. This looks nice and sporty. We can now go ahead and continue detailing the part of the bottle first and then we do the cap. So for this, I will select a sketch element and then click on sketch and go back into editing the sketch. What I have to do now is actually model the neck for the bottle over which then the cap will go. So in this upper area now I will start drawing a horizontal line and then a vertical line and a second vertical line. All three lines again I will specify to be horizontally vertically constrained. And then between these two vertical lines, I would like to have a distance of one millimeter. This is the distance for the threading. And then here I have another distance, two millimeter. This defines then the material thickness of the cap that goes over the bottle. Very good. At one point you will have a lot of constraints. You can uh, actually turn on selection based. Then this way, every time when you select something, it only shows the elements which you have selected. I will keep actually show all on for the moment. Very good. So now we exit the, the sketch. We can then do this one more time. Here's a revolve. Now we can see basically how this body shows now the complete bottle. And then this is the volume for the cap. It's also very useful to give your objects names. So the cap and the bottle, I give a name. So these are very easy to see then. And the sketch, I give the name Site Profile. Beautiful. Okay. 